So what we're going to do is we're going to unwrap this table. Um, so really feel free to ask all, any and all questions that you have when it comes to unwrapping um, so that we can get this really clear for you guys so that um, you can unwrap pretty much anything. Um, it's really not that hard. Your unwrapping should be easier than your modeling because your modeling should be clean. If your modeling is clean, then your unwraps are going to be clean. If you have a really like dirty like model when it comes to your edge loops and things like that, then your unwrapping is going to get more difficult. So the cleaner your model, the better your unwrapping is going to be. So um, first thing, um, whatever you want unwrapped um, has to be attached to itself. If you don't want to, if you don't want to attach it, um, like for example, if I wanted to animate this crank, um, is this going to work? No. Anyway, let's say I wanted to rotate this, like if I were going to crank it and this bus saw was going to move, right? I don't want all yeah. of these to be, um, attached to one another because we're, we're going to use this for animation. Um, so if that's the case, you would just grab everything and group it together. Um, that's how you would do that. But it won't let me. Oh, because it, it's already in a group. That's in a group. Um, so what I'm going to show you is we're going to unwrap these pieces individually. Um, and then we're going to attach the pieces that we know aren't going to be animating. Actually, we can just attach the pieces that we know are going to be animating. There's no point in doing it backwards. Okay. So all of this stuff right here can be attached to one another because, um, it's not going to be moving, right? All of this can be attached to one another. Um, and so you would do that by clicking on your model. And then you're going to see a little attach button right here. You see that? Yeah. Okay. You click that button and then you just click everything you want to attach. Pretty simple. This, 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 and this. So if I move this, all of this should move. So it's one mesh now. Okay. So we're going to unwrap this portion. So we do that. We go to the modifier list and we type in UN. Um, it's going to take us to unwrap UVW. You're going to click that. So whenever you do that, um, you're going to see here. Can you see my UV window? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So whenever you do that, it, you, Max is going to give you UVs already. They're not going to be they're the best UVs. They're just going to be something that it just auto-generated for you. Um, never use that because most of the time it's just UVs stacked on top of each other. Um, so what we're going to do is in polygon mode right here. These are your different selection modes. Vertex, edges, and polygons, just like in um, your edit poly um, selections. It's the same thing in, in your unwrap. Um, this right here is your select all. So if I have polygon selected and I want to select all of my polygons, I select this, and then I just click it. Oh, this is actually element mode. So it'll select not your polygon, but it'll select that whole mesh. Um, same thing if I did edges, it'll select all the edges. You see that? Versus if I turn this off, it's just going to select one at a time. Right. So this is like your select all for that for that model. For some reason, vertexes isn't working. That's weird. Anyway. Um, so yeah, so this is your select all. So what we want to do is kind of start fresh with like our own um, 
UVs. And so what I like to do, this is just something that I like to do. It really helps me out. Um, we're going to select everything. So remember, go to polygon mode, hit the select all button right here, or select by element, I think is what it is. Yeah, select by element. Um, we want to select all of these, all these pieces, right? And let's right click and let's hit isolate selection. Just go to right click and isolate. So all we're going to see is this stuff. We're not going to see the other stuff that we don't have attached. Okay, so with all of this stuff selected, um, if you look over where it says projection right here, um, this kind of gives you um, like a very, it'll unwrap your model um, based off of the shape. So if I unwrapped using a cylinder, it's going to unwrap everything as if it were a cylinder. So this this would be good as if you had a cylindrical object like a pipe, a cup. Um, trying to think what else, a bottle, you know, things that are cylindrical in nature. You can use this, but it, it doesn't do the best job um, or things that are spherical. So like a ball or basketball or, you know, a marble or something. You can use this. So it's going to, and if I pull this up, you're going to see that. Um, it's going to unwrap your model um, if it were a sphere and then a box, right? I like to use plane. And the reason why I like to use plane is because it kind of gives me like... Um, It gives me like a starting point that takes all of my UVs and it looks at it from this point of view. So my UVs are gonna look like if it were the top view. If I were to change it to Y, it's gonna look at, it's gonna look like if it's from this view. And if I change it to Z, or sorry, X, it's gonna look at it like if it were this. So I like to start from the top. And um, if I open up my UV editor, you're gonna see that. It's going to unwrap it like it's like this. And so I don't really have that many UVs um, already. I just have um, this top-down view of my entire model's UVs. And that's what we want. And it, it kind of helps because whenever we don't have it like that, it kind of gets really dirty. Um, like that's what your UVs look like. And you're like, I don't know what this stuff is. Right? Right? And so it just kind of gives you a nice starting point on um, where your UVs are in your UV space. So then you can just kind of start going in here and just like, oh, okay, these are all my planks. I can move these over to the side. Oh, here's all my little wood shavings. I can move these over to the side, you know? So that's, that's, that's how I like to start. It kind of gives me like a very fresh, a fresh start on everything. Um, so whenever you're in projection mode make sure whenever you're done to turn this off because it won't like you won't be able to unwrap anything because you're still in projection mode okay all right so if you click this open uv editor it's going to open up your uv window right so if you have two screens most of you probably have just your laptop um, sometimes it can get really crowded on one screen but if you have two screens I would definitely put this full screen on another screen if, if you have that option. Um, but if not, just you're going to have to work in this small window. It's doable. It's just not fun. Okay, so whenever you click on Open UV Editor, it's going to give you this window, and this is where your UVs are. And this is where you're going to do most of your, your work. Um, same thing down here is your vertexes, your edges, and your polygon selection, just like it is out here. This is your select by element, just as it is right here. Um, this button is like your grow button. Um, I don't really use it that much, but if I had a vertex right here, whoa, come back. Um, if I had a vertex right here and I wanted to grow, or I can shrink, it doesn't shrink it. Yeah. So I can grow how many vertexes I want selected and I can shrink it. 
I don't really use that that much. Um, I really use more the edged selections. And right here, if I select this edge, which is this corresponding edge right here, this is the edge that I have selected. If I hit this button, which is the loop button, um, it'll loop my edges. So it has that whole selection looped, right? Um, I use that often, or I use this is gonna, I don't use the grow or shrink on the loops, I don't use that. I use the ring, so it rings all my UVs, that, that's useful. Um, I don't use grow or shrink ring, I don't, I don't use that that much. I never use paint UV selection, I think that's lazy. Um, it's probably not going to give you the best results. Or maybe it will, I just never used it. Um, so that's really what these do down here. Um, these things down here, I'm probably going to tell you not to worry about because honestly, I don't know what they do. I think they tell you where your where your things are in UV space, uh, where your elements or your islands are Yeah, in UV space. Um, just a little terminology for you. These are called UV islands. Um, and they're just I, they're just called that just because they're whenever you're done, I'm gonna pack them. They're they, they're gonna look something like this, and some of you probably already know what I'm talking about, or most of you do. Um, and these are just called UV islands. Um, so this is just gonna tell you where all of your all your models are in UV space. So you're gonna look at it, and it's gonna change. Um. I guess this freezes selections. I've never used that. Um, this is just your pan and UV space, your your zoom in and out and UV space. Um, you can zoom in in a region. That's kind of cool. Um, I just usually use my middle mouse scroll wheel. Um, this snap UVs is pretty useful, um, but we're not going to be using it for what we're doing today. But just know that it's there. Um, the the three buttons that you're going to use the most okay are this break button that's going to break your uvs so always remember this one um your pack custom button you're always going to use that and um i guess more than three buttons because all of these right here all your stitch options are what you're going to use so you, it's usually this these right here and your pack um, break is exactly what it sounds like. It's breaking your UVs. Um, so anything that's green, you see here. Let me grab this guy. So anything that's green, like right here, the bottom of this is green, which means it's been cut. Now, it's only been cut because there's no face there. Um, so whenever I select this edge, I'm going to select this guy right here and I break them why did you break there you go um, now he's green that's where there's a there's a break or cut in your edge right um, now if I move him you see it, this one's blue right here when I select this green edge that means that this edge can join that edge so what's green means it's been cut out what's blue means that it can attach to that corresponding edge so if I select this and I hit stitch to target it's gonna stitch it back so that's what that that's what that does that's what these stitch tools do okay Um, like 30 minutes. Are you going to be done in like 30 minutes? Maybe in an hour. Because the potatoes will take roughly 30 minutes. Okay, then start the potatoes at 7. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. Um, okay. So, let's start, let's start cutting. Okay. So, where do you guys want to start? What do you want to tackle first? You want to do the wood planks? You want to do this, these guys right here, the feet? What do you want to do? 
Uh, the feet. The feet? Okay. The feet. All right. Since nobody else said anything, we're going to take Vincent's lead. All right. So, with the feet. Remember whenever we did um, our cup, right? Um, you want to, whenever you're cutting your UVs, you want to cut them thinking, how am I going to texture this? Um, what's the best way to texture it? Because sometimes, um, I mean, for if you're new to doing UVs, um, some of you will cut all of these, right? Um, so some of you will cut all of these which is okay in some in some cases um, but if you were to paint these in Photoshop this would be a pain because all of these edges um, you're gonna get you may get seams on some of your edges and you want to make sure that this is painted kind of seamlessly um, so sometimes you don't really have to cut every single thing now whenever we're doing high poly baking on objects that don't have a rounded edge so like this one if I wanted to do a high poly bake on this I would want to cut all of my edges for some reason it bakes better that way um, but if you had a chamfer on this edge like like these do then you wouldn't have to cut them at, like every single edge loop like that um, maybe I can do another video on that but I hope that makes some sense so um, but for the leg, let me do this over. Okay, so for this leg, um, we can cut it probably in one spot. And we can cut it right here. Um, typically, you want to cut your UVs in a place where the, the, the player is not going to see them. So a lot of the times you want to try to hide where your UVs are. Um, since this is at like the bottom and like instead of cutting it up here where most likely you'll see this seam, you want to cut it like at the bottom. So nobody's really going to be looking underneath your table. They'll probably be looking above but not underneath. So you want to place your, wherever you're going to make your break or your cut in places where the player's not going to look. So I selected this edge, I just double clicked and it gave me the loop right here. And I'm just going to hit this break button. Okay. Now, I always use the, the toilet paper roll example. Um, now I know that toilet paper is very scarce right now, but if you do happen to have toilet paper and have used all of it, I would get a toilet paper roll, get a pair of scissors and cut straight down the toilet paper roll and then flatten it out that's what we're doing with our UVs so I literally cut this like if I would cut a toilet paper roll and now we're gonna flatten it out and so there's a tool in here that we're gonna use that's called relax and that's the flattening out our UVs because right now all of these are stacked on top of each other right it's it's a mess it, um, so we want to flatten this out so if you go to tools and you hit relax it's gonna give you another little window uh, most of the time, you're going to relax by polygon angles. Sometimes you're going to use relax by edge angles. You'll, you're, I've never used relax by center. So if you, for some odd reason, learn how to use this one, get at me because I don't know what it's for. But most of the time, you would use relax by polygon. So iterations, I never touch. It's usually at 100. Um, I never touch the stretch. It's usually at 0 the amount is what I what I use and the, the amount is just the strength of your relax so if you've cut this edge already select you can just marquee select your whole leg right here and hit start relax and then my relax is finished so if I look at this if I select polygon right here without that selected you're gonna see that I have everything laid out here Like if I just cut it like a toilet paper roll and flatten it out. It's all right here. Now there is some issues. Like some edges are kind of overlapping each other right here. And we don't want that. Um, we want these to be straight. 
Um, and so, crap, one second. Let me put this in the chat because this is very, very important. This, this will help you. Um, I totally missed the step, guys. I apologize. Uh, this guy. So this is going to help you. I would keep this with you. Save it to your desktop. Put it on a flash drive. Do what you can because this is widely important. This will help you learn how to use UVs. So you need to save this image I'm gonna I'm gonna send it to you um, but this image is gonna save your life a lot of the time um, I don't use it anymore um, just because I've unwrapped for so long I already know how my UVs are gonna look um, but for you this is a huge 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 tool um, so I would I would use this for sure for sure so I'm gonna put this in the chat it's going to help you like big time so grab that grab that jpeg image and i'm going to show you what we're going to use it for so this way you're not you're not blindly doing your unwrapping you're unwrapping um and you know where all your uvs are and how your texture is going to look before you start texturing so let me know when you guys have have it saved and I'll show you the next step. Got it. Left one now to be transferred to the next warranty specialist. Remember to ask about our employee pricing discount. Okay, you guys ready? Yep. Okay. All right. So click M on your keyboard and it's going to pull up your material editor. Okay. When you have your material editor open, editor open, click on one of your materials, click on diffuse, like this little button next to diffuse. Click on that. Um, let's just use this one. It's going to pull up this window. You want to look for bitmap. This is exactly how you guys put textures on your models whenever you um, did you know, your, your cup and you did your weapon. Um, just click on bitmap. Hit OK. And now you're going to search for that. Um, you're going to search for that image and hit open. And then you're going to apply it to your model. So you can just click and drag. Uh, drag and drop it on your model and then hit this little button right here that says show shaded material in viewport and so you should you should see your your texture on your model and so this is what your uvs are probably going to look like you see how things are stretching right here this three is stretching all the way across um this one is stretching all the way down and so whenever i add like a wood material right here it's going to, it's going to stretch so some of you probably have um, did some of your textures and you're like, why is it stretching? It's probably because your UVs aren't cut properly. And so this is going to help you detect where your UVs are stretching, where things are, are, are not looking good, um, and you can fix them here. And so that's going to help us. So this is the leg that we cut right here. And you see we kind of, it looks okay. Um, we want these to be square though. Um, and and straight and right now they're not and we're gonna we're gonna fix that But this isn't bad. This is this is a, a decent um, Unwrap it's just that it's all it's kind of all over the place. And so we just need to fix that So do you guys have that texture on your model? Yeah, yeah, okay All right, so let's open back up our UV editor Okay, and so we want to straighten all these out and so we can do that by selecting our edge loop right here, our edge selection. Double click on this edge right here. And these guys right here um, at the very top under quick transform um, are really cool. Um, these help you straighten out your UVs um, and make them straight. Before they had this, this is how I used to straighten out my UVs. Like this. I don't even know that. Yeah. <laughs> Which, which is extremely annoying. 
um, that came out with this tool, or I just found it um, like a couple years ago, and I really like it. So if you double click this edge, and you hit the ring UVs, it's gonna grab all of those, right? Because yeah. we want all of these to be straight. If you click and if you left click and hold on this one, you're gonna see like this button right here, underneath this one. You want to click the, this one right here, and they oh. all they all go straight. And you can do that with this one right here. Same thing up here. Click, bring this one down. Well, actually, you click this one, you ring it. Click, bring that one down. Boom, straight. What? I don't even know those tools. Yeah. So it kind of has some weird thing going on right here. Uh, let me see. It does not want to play with me. Um, I'm trying to think. What's the best way to do this? Okay. All right. So the way that I showed you wasn't the best way. So I'm going to show you. And this happens a lot of the times. You have to play with your UVs to get the best result. And I think I know what it is. So we're going to cut this edge right here, which is the top. We're going to cut that one. And we're going to cut the, the, the one next to it, the adjacent one. We're going to cut that one too. And we're going to cut this one too. So we're going to cut all of them. Like I said, we weren't going to do. But I'm going to sh we're going to stitch them all back together. So let's relax all of these pieces. And so you're going to get something like this. Right? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So this bottom one right here, this is the bottom of our, our leg. We can leave that one, honestly, because nobody's going to look underneath this right here. So we can leave this one by itself. Um, these two, or these three right here, we're going to attach together. Um, and so we're going to do that by clicking this edge. And you see, remember when I say, when you select this edge, this blue one right here, um, highlights saying that, hey, we can connect together. So we're going to stitch it together using the stitch custom so you click that you see how it just they snap together yeah okay you're gonna do that over here too so let me grab this one and we're gonna do stitch custom do this one here stitch custom do this one here stitch custom so it's gonna give you this weird looking shape right so let's relax this one And it should give you something like that. So if we look at our UVs, they're not they're not too bad. That's not too bad at all. So that's a good start. Now Typically, I mean, maybe, let me see. I'm going to just do this real fast, see if this would be beneficial at all. No, it just gives me this thing again. Yeah, I think this is fine. If you do this, it's okay. The reason why I'm, go ahead. No, no, no. What I was gonna say is the reason why I'm saying that is because, like, usually you want this to wrap around this texture to wrap around. Um, like you, like you want this to the next number you want to be three right here, and then four and five, um, because it helps it wrap properly. But it's whatever. Um, this is this really should be okay so this is fine so these are done um, I like to usually pack them do like a pack custom and then I just bring them out because I know that this is going to be the right size so I'm gonna 
we're going to talk about something called texel density. And I tried to explain this a while ago. Um, and maybe you remember, maybe you forgot. But um, texel density is um, the, the amount of texel resolution that your model is going to have inside of UV space. That's all of that is just a fancy smancy way of saying the bigger this is in this box, the more resolution you're going to get on your texture. P texel density and pixel de density um, are not the same thing. Pixel density is the amount of pixels that your model will take up in a, in a Photoshop document or in a substance painter document. Um, texel density is how much this would take in this space right here. So the bigger this takes up in your space, the more detail you're going to get in your model or in your texture. So if I have like a really nice 4K texture in here, like of wood or something, and I have this guy scaled like this big, you can, it's only going to get a couple pixels of that texture, right? But if I have him at a decent size, like this, then he's going to get a nice amount of that wood texture. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's a pretty rough explainer on texel density. All I'm trying to, trying to explain is, is that the bigger parts you want to take up the most detail, or the most, text te um, the most space in your UVs. The smaller parts, like this guy, like he doesn't have to be as big because he's not a big piece, right? Um, so like these planks right here, you want them to take up a nice amount of space. Um, and a lot of these big pieces, you want to take up a lot of space. Um, the, the fun part about unwrapping is trying to get the most texel density for the least amount of work. Um, and so I'm going to show you how to unwrap all of these, all of this, but if you were smart, which I'm going to teach you guys to be smart when you're unwrapping, um, you can unwrap just one of these. Like you can just un unwrap this, 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 and this. And I mean, I guess you would have to unwrap these, but then your whole table would be unwrapped at that point in that guy. Because all you would do is just copy this guy over. Bloop, 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 right? And you would just copy this guy over. Bloop. Um, and then all that's going to do is stack your UVs on top of each other. So remember, I was showing you um, my box the other day that I made. Um, all I did was my UVs were stacked on top of each other. That's, that's how I was able to get that texture to, to wrap around my box. Um, like on all six sides. The only drawback to stacking your UVs is that everything is going to look the same. So if you're if you want, you know this this plank, um, you just want to unwrap it once and then you copy it over. Um, if you put like a smiley face on here, it's going to be on all of him all of them. So you're going to have to make your textures in a way very generic, but give it detail there's a very very fine line um but anyway that's just that's just a tidbit that that helps you save a lot of space in your uv space by if you only have one of these instead of uh what is that one two three four five instead of having five of them and taking up five you know um oh so we can just stack them together yeah you would just stack them together oh. Oh shit, I never thought of those. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, so instead of taking all this space, it would just be, well, I mean, actually it would be just those two because this one's unique. Um, but you would stack these three on top of this one. And so you would only have to texture this once. You don't have to texture it four times um, You only by just stacking your UVs. So that saves you time, that saves you space. Um, and that helps you get a really good looking model without having to do the most amount of work. It's just, it's just being smart. So, um, that's why I had everything cut, 
um, in symmetry because all I had to do was just UV this side and then apply my symmetry modifier and then all of my UVs would be the exact same on this side. So that's why I had it like that. But since I'm showing you guys how to unwrap, we're just going to do this all together. Um, okay, so this is unwrapped. So this guy's, this guy's good. So let's move him out. Once we have everything unwrapped, we're just going to put everything back in here. And for the most part, Max is okay when you just do pack custom. Everything packs in there. But um, right now, we're just going to get the rest of these done. Okay. So let's unwrap him. He's going to be fairly easy. Um, so you can select your edge your edge loop right here. And this over here, you can go back and forth between these two. Um, I think it's typically easier for beginners when they're unwrapping to just unwrap in a 3D mode instead of a UV mode. Um, so with this one, we want to cut it um, because right now it's all joined together. So if I were to grab him and try to relax him, he, he's not going to relax very well because he's all he's still connected together. We need to break him. Um, so let's select this. Let's double click and select this edge. Remember, we want to have our UVs hidden. So we're going to select this bottom one and we're going to cut him. So let's or break him. So let's break it. And let's try to relax him now. And so we got something like this. Now, there's still quite a bit of mess here that we need to clean up. And that's not going to be too difficult. Are you guys still following me or am I moving too fast? Yeah. Uh, I, don't, uh, I, don't, I don't know about this. <laughs> Vincent, you still following? Luis, Min, Roberto? Yeah, I'm still following. I'm actually just watching. Um, okay. And then I'll try to do it afterwards because it's hard to watch back and forth. Yeah, no. Okay, no problem. Uh, I'm recording right now, so um, you have the file if you want to just watch this and go through it you know, as you're watching the video and pause it and play, that's fine. Okay. All right. Um, so sometimes max, whenever it's relaxing, it's UVs get bunched up like this. And that's because this object is rounded like this. And so it's trying to round it out as if how the model is, but we need to help it a little bit. So we're going to cut some more seams in here so that we can straighten this out. So I'm going to double click on this edge. I'm going to cut it or I'm going to break it. I'm going to double click on this edge. I'm going to break that one. And I'm going to double click on this one right here. And I'm going to break that too. So I broke all of these edges, right? Now I'm going to relax all of them and see what happens. So I'm going to select these. I'm going to relax by polygon angles. Okay, so it relaxed all of them, and this is what it gave me. So still not the best. It's still kind of twisted inside itself. Let me see. Yeah, my model's hollow inside, so it shouldn't... No, it's not hollow inside. Okay, so this is where um, being smart with your model comes into play. So my model um, has faces on the inside when it shouldn't. Right? There's a face right here. There's no need to have a face in there because you're not going to see it. This is going to take up room in your UV space and we don't need it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come and collapse this. I'm going to hit yes. And then I'm just going to go in here and I'm just going to delete it. Um, so. oh, how did you see the faces inside? So I kind of knew um, that I had faces in here just because it wasn't relaxing the way it should have. Um, and so if I just came in here and I just started selecting some faces and I hit F3 and I'm just trying to find out where all these faces are, right? And I can see when I select this one right here that it's in the inside of my model. See, it's not highlighted out here. So I know that there, it's it's in here. Gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. So, 
I mean, I guess technically I, I could keep it because there's a little gap in here and there's just going to be black. So I guess that's fine if I keep it. Um, but if these were flush against each other, I probably would delete it. Um, but I could delete this top one because you're not going to be able to see that one. Um, but for the sake of this video, we'll just keep them. Um, so if you collapsed it, you can just bring your UV unwrap back. So you just go back to your modifier and, and just put it back, your UV unwrap. Okay, so the reason why it's not relaxing properly is because of those inside faces. So to get rid of those, we already cut it here. Let's cut it along this edge and this edge right here. So once we cut these, it should separate all the, the ones on the inside. Yep, here are the ones on the inside. Here are the other ones on the inside. This one on the inside and this one on the inside. So let's weld these together. Let's weld all the inside parts together. So let's relax them first. Let's bring this up to one. Relax that. Relax that relax that and relax that okay so these are all the inside parts of that piece okay so if I go to my edge mode and I select let's say this guy right here this edge it's turning blue blue means what oh it can connect to the, the red that's right yeah yeah so yeah the red can connect to the blue and the blue can connect to the red so let's hit stitch custom so these these stitch together that's perfect let's hit this like this one let's do stitch custom perfect let's click on this one and do stitch custom boom so look i have all of these in here and we can just hit do one more relax boom <laughs> That one's done. It's perfect. So the outside, we can relax these probably now. Yeah, look at that. That looks good. That's what we want. So we can do the same thing we did with the outside. Let's stitch these together. Stitch that. Stitch that. Well, sometimes you get stitch happy and it starts stitching other things together you don't want stitched together. There we go. Um, let's stitch these guys together. Okay. And then we can relax them again. Let's hit that. And relax. Let's see how that looks. So they're a little tilted. That's just because it's rotated right here. So I can go into my rotation right here. Select this. And I can just rotate it. There we go. So look at that. You see our UVs are going all the way around. Perfect. Huh. Yeah. We can straighten them out too. Um, just like how we did before. So we can ring it here. And click this button to straighten that out. And we can ring it here. Click this button to straighten it out. And your UV should be perfectly straight. So this guy's done. So do you kind of see like the, the process? You just cut, weld, relax, cut, weld, relax until you get something that looks like this. And this. So this guy under here, super easy to do because he's just a hollow box with no top and no bottom. So we can just cut him right here. And I got to find where he is. He's right here. I can just cut that part and then relax it. It kind of got stuck in itself. Right? Because it doesn't, it shouldn't look like this. So this is when one of those times I usually like to use the edge, relax by edges when meshes get caught because it'll freak out and it'll get all those me like edges 
that are stuck in itself fixed. So it'll do something crazy like that. It'll like spin around, do something stupid like that. Um, I just usually stop it and then I go back to relax by polygon angle and then it fixes it. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. It helps it kind of get unstuck from itself. I mean, so uh, uh, now what is the other thing to do? Just like relax by, you know, the... Sinners? Uh, I mean, what, what the other can do in, you know, the other model? What, out of these three? Yeah, because now I, now I use, I only use like one of them. And I don't know what, when, what are we going to use the other two? Yeah, so you you use Polygon the most. That one does um, the best job. Whenever like meshes, like like what we just had here, like this one, uh, like right here, like we tried to relax it and then it it kind of got stuck. You can tell, like, because this is this right here is supposed to be. It's supposed to be out here. Yeah, yeah, and that's supposed to be like this, and that's supposed to be like that. Like you can do that; that's not a problem. Um, but I like to use like the um, relax by edge angles to help kind of get those things unstuck. Oh, because now it's kind of um, fixed it where it's not within itself anymore, and then I can just go back to polygon, and then it fixes itself. Huh. All right, all right. I see this. So it's just a little technique that I've that I use. I don't know if that's the right way to do it. It just works for me. Um, yeah. This guy needs to be relaxed, so let's relax him by polygons, and we need to um, bring him in here and attach him to his buddy. So let's select him, and he goes here, and then we can just go back. And weld this guy together. Well, this guy together. Oh wait, we can use that. Uh, what? Oh, I'm not. I was using the welding tool. The one, the one down there. Which one? The this welding. Right no, no, I was using down. Uh, Help me down there. The welding tool. One of these. These are stitching no, tools. Which one? No, the, yeah, the one up, up, the up, up there. The this one up. right here. Uh, that one? A little bit down. Yeah, I always use these ones. Oh, well. you're using target weld. So you were going yeah. by vertice, vertice by vertice. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I do not do that. I've never used that one. Yeah, um, because every time I use stitch, it's not working because I don't know. It can't weld. Like, all yeah, I would, yeah I, would do, I would do it by edges um, most of the time or vertex sometimes. Um, that And you just could do like a stitch custom. That just makes things way, way, way easier. Oh yeah, now you change it, everything. <laughs> yeah, it, it it definitely speeds everything up for you. Okay, so these guys are done. Um, this guy right here, you would cut right there. Remember, hide your hide your seams. So let's cut him at the bottom, and let's see how. Yeah, so he has an inside as well. So we can go back and delete it, but we're not going to. We're just going to select this edge right here. Select this edge right here. So I selected those two outer edges. I'm going to break them, and then I'm going to relax. It's going to give me that. And that's what I want. This is perfect. This is good enough because he's small. He's not that big of a deal. So that's a, that's a pretty good unwrap for him. Um, you can remember, you can turn on your angle snaps. So you hit A and you can snap it 90 degrees. Instead of snapping it, it'll snap. Like if you don't have it turned on and you want to get like that perfect 90 and you're sitting here like fidgeting, trying to get 90, just turn on your angle snaps if you just hit A. Stupid Dvorak. You just hit A and then it'll snap 90 for you. Like that. 
So he's done. Um, we can do this guy real quick. Let's select him here. And let's break him. And let's unwrap him. Okay. Yeah, so he has a... I didn't break him properly either. Boom. What is this polygon? Oh, that's the outside. Break him. And then we're just going to stitch him back on. Like that. So that's good enough. So, uh, what did you press to make them straight? This up here. I'm going to do it right now. Up here. At the very, very, very top. Quick transform. Uh -huh. And you want to click those right here. Um, and then oh, you can why is the hotkey? Uh, I don't think there's a hotkey. Oh. <laughs> no, I need to. I have to go back every time and fix it. The yellow cursor? Yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know the hotkey for it. You could make a hotkey for it, but I don't know what it is. I just, uh -huh. I just go up here and I just click this every time. Uh, Alright, I think I might miss that. <laughs> Here on my stream. Hi everybody on Ricky's stream. I, I just muted it. Um no. Hi everybody on Ricky's stream. No, I'll be done in probably like 15, 20 minutes. Okay. Alright. Um Hi everybody on Ricky's stream. <laughs> Yay. Sorry that my wife has to be present for this. Literally the <laughs> Um, okay, so this guy's here. We're going to cut these two down here. So let's grab these guys. And I'm just going to hit F3 to go into edge mode so I can see inside, or sorry, wireframe. Because we just want to cut these right here. We don't want to cut these. Um, it's going to flay them out. So if I break all of those we're gonna we should get little little plus signs when I relax them yep just like that and that's good enough we could make them straight but again you know this this is n really such a small model it's it's not really worth the extra headache to try to get them very very straight when you're not gonna see them that much so don't don't stress yourself out about it Okay, so look at all the stuff we've unwrapped. All of that. We're almost, we're almost done. Okay, so let's get this guy. Let's get this guy right here. Okay. So, how do you think we should cut this one? Uh, maybe cut the button or the button or head? Yeah. So, what, like... And leave this like one, or one this last. One? Uh, uh, cut the whole surface. Cut the whole what? Cut the whole surface and then cut the line. Uh, cut one line on the side. Like this one right here? Yeah, just cut one line. All right, what do you think? Um, mean or Luis, Vincent, Roberto, what do you guys think? What do you think I should cut? Oh wait, wait, no! Cut, cut the head and the bottom, oh. and that's it. You're getting there. Anybody have any thoughts? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. So what we want to do? Oh wait, George, you're typing. What are you typing, bro? Uh, no, no, I, I, I use a push to talk. So every time I'm, I, oh, I, I, gotcha. I send in X. So every time I try to talk. It's an type. Gotcha. Okay. So we can select like this one because it's going to be hidden, right? Yeah. So that edge is going to be hidden. We're going to. I'm trying to think about this in my head. Uh, 
Let's select this one actually. And we're going to cut all the way around, almost all the way around. Right to there. We're going to leave that edge intact. And we're going to go all the way over here. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to select this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And we're going to leave that one intact. And watch what's going to happen. Watch the magic. So we're going to cut that. And we're going to relax it. Where, where's my relax? Oh, there you are. And we're going to hit start relax. Boom, huh. look at that. Oh, that's dope. <laughs> yeah. So we have each of these nicely unwrapped for you. So if you're texturing this and you want your wood texture to be seamless all the way across and you want to texture these end caps with like a nice little like cut wood texture you can just place them there boom boom so that's perfect that's what we want so this guy's done yeah pretty cool stuff and so all I did um, like if I were cutting it in real life all I did was just cut it all the way around except leaving this edge intact this one right here Select the darn edge. There you go. I just left this one intact. Because if I would have if I would have cut all the way around, it would have cut this off. Same thing on this side. If I would have cut this one, it would have cut it off. Right? And you can do that if you want to. Um, you don't have to keep them on. But I just thought that it's better to have it as a whole piece together. And so um, it just made it way easier. So I just cut one edge. Um, down the long end and then I just cut almost all of the edges except one on the end caps and that's how I got this it's pretty dope um, and with this one all I had to do was copy it over three more times and those are done I'm not gonna do the same thing on all three because it's pointless um, but you guys get this one you get it um, let's do this guy in the middle he's a, he's unique so we're going to take him and we're going to do something very similar, if not, if not the exact same. Uh, we're going to take this edge, we're going to cut all the way around it, except for one edge, which is this one. We're going to go around, and do the same thing. Where is that edge selected? Oh, I think because, yeah, it stops. Because there's another edge right here. There you go. So it's all the way across now. So I'm going to select it all the way around. Right here. I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to relax it. Boom. Same thing. He's done. That guy's done. Alright, so we're getting close to the end here. We got just only, I think, these guys to do. Which, all honestly, all those can be unwrapped pretty much the same. Okay, so let's do this guy. So this one's going to be kind of fun. Um, he's super... I think he's super simple. Yeah, okay. So... We're going to do something similar with, like we did with the planks. We're going to cut all the way around except for one. Um, i trying to think... trying to think in my mind's eye how do I want to do this <laughs> okay let's start with this let's cut this guy out this center part so we're gonna select that bottom edge we're gonna select that bottom or this top edge 
Do I want to do that though? Let's select this one. This inside. No. What are you doing? What is that doing? Oh man. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna select this guy. Like this. Yeah. So I know this edge is kind of like out in the open, but remember there's going to be like a buzz saw in here. Um, and so like a buzz saw blade. And so that's going to keep it hidden. Um, hopefully these seams hidden. So we're going to cut this out. So cut him out. We're going to bring this edge down because he's still connected to himself. So we need to cut him in half. I guess that wasn't what I wanted to do, but whatever, we'll fix that. Okay. So should this should be all of the inside right here. So let's relax it. And that's our inside piece. Right there. Um Oh no, I did that right. Okay. This edge right here is just looking at this this guy. That's why I was confused. I, I thought there was another edge right here, but no, there's not another edge right there. That's just an edge to another model. So this is right. So that's this the inside piece. Um, with this guy, now that we have that guy cut out in the middle, um, we can now... How do we want to do this, guys? Maybe I can do this edge like that. Let's see. Let's cut it like this. Let's select it. Let's unwrap it. Didn't do what I wanted to do. So whenever, whenever this happens, remember, let's just break it off into smaller pieces so that we can get our unwraps correct and once we break it off into smaller pieces and start relaxing then we can start stitching stuff back together so whenever you're kind of stuck and you're like I don't know what I need to unwrap or this looks too complicated to unwrap then just start breaking it into smaller pieces because that makes it that makes it easier did I miss a segment nope I did not miss a segment. So why didn't you cut all the way through? Huh. That's weird. Anyway, so we're going to keep cutting. We're going to select this guy and this guy. But don't select these over here. So you want to deselect them because they're the ones in the center that we don't need to cut right now. So let's cut those guys. So we have a couple pieces here. So let's relax, start relaxing them and see what we get. Why are, how are you still connected to this? I do not understand that. What are you connected? What are you connected to? Tell me your secrets. What is that? break that no you're still connected what is that <laughs> I don't know what that is I don't know what's still connected to this okay well anyway let's start welding the stuff that I do know goes together uh, we can weld these guys together um, maybe if I just select him like this Let me break him off. That was weird. I don't know. I don't know what the point of that was. But anyway. Alright, let's keep stitching. Let me stitch him. 
together. And we're just going to get all of this in here stitched together. So this can be union or is that custom stitch, not union. Custom, grab these guys, custom stitch. Grab these guys, custom stitch. Grab these guys, custom stitch. And grab these guys and custom stitch. Now let's relax him. It's kind of giving me this, this weird looking thing. It may be it may be better to not custom stitch all those together just because it the mesh doesn't want to agree with me. So it may just be better just to stitch them right here. Just have them out like that. Sometimes Max just... You just gotta work with what it gives you. So I would just stitch them like this. It's okay if they're like that, that's fine. Um, this guy needs to be stitched like that. So I just custom stitched him together Like that. And that should be okay. This is a weird geometry. What is that? Oh, it's this weird stuff. This dumb part of the model. So, with this, we can get rid of this. Um, we're going to cut this part out. There's no, there's no need for it to be in our, in this piece. It just, it's just kind of in the way. So that gives us a better looking uh, unwrap. This right here is fine. Just add its own separate piece. So this looks, this looks pretty good. I'm actually happy with that. Um, I'm going to stitch these two together and these two together. Let me know if I'm moving too fast or if you have any questions. Because I'm just, sometimes I get in my head and I just start flying and I, I forget that people are watching, so. Um, okay, so those are cut. Did everybody get that? I'm good. You're good? Okay. Um, so we only really have, we only really have these pieces left. So these are pretty simple. Um, you can literally just um, like double click all the way around like that and just break them and then select this edge. Maybe that edge would be better and break this. So you got the top part right here and you kind of got some weird thing going on right here. That's just because I'm dumb and I didn't delete the bottom of these. So if I break those, that should do that and that should do that. So that's done. And you just rinse and repeat for the rest of these. Select that, select that, this, this, select this edge, this edge, and then select that, and then you break all those together. And then you just relax all that stuff. Oh, forgot. that. There you go. So this is done. This is done. 
So you would do the same thing for all of those. And then for these two, okay. So inside needs to be cut out on its own. So I just double click that one, double click that one. And I'm gonna click this one. And I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna bring him out and relax him. So he should lay out straight flat like that. Perfect, that's what we want. Um, now for this one, I'm gonna cut this out and this out. So I'm gonna break it. And I'm gonna relax them. And then I'm just gonna grab him and I'm gonna relax him. And I'm just gonna weld these guys back on. Right here and right here. And right here, there you go. So that's good, this is done. And this guy's the last one. So we're gonna do bottom, we're gonna cut him out. So here's the bottom, relax him, he's done, let's relax him. And he's kind of done, he's kind of in, in himself. He's in his feelings, so we're gonna fix him a little bit. So I did relax by edges, see if that'll help me out. No, I didn't. So I can go in here, George, and I can just straighten him out if I want to. Um, I don't have to. I can just, if I want to, I can just go into vertices and just and just fix him manually. Just bring him up like that. Again, he's not like a very, very crucial piece. Um, we don't want any of these vertices overlapping over one another because if we were to go and bake, um, if there is something that's a dark region that needs to be baked, like that's in shadow, then it'll bake in a light, light area. And we don't want that. We want everything to bake evenly. So you want to make sure your UVs aren't, aren't, you know, like this, this isn't overlapping here and this isn't going over here because whatever bakes right here is going to bake on all of these pieces. So we want to make sure that our UVs are laid out flat, just like that. Okay, so everything right here has been unwrapped. All of this, this is all the important stuff. Um, now, I'm lazy um, and I just do pack custom. And you see here that it packed it all for me perfectly. Um, all this other stuff you would just copy so you would just, um, I can show you how to do that, actually. Oh, uh, can I, can I, uh, so what's the difference between pack custom and the first option in peel? Um, like this one? Or sorry, yeah, and, like these right here? Yeah, pack, pack custom and the... Uh, <sighs> That's a good question, George. Um, so one. I think like pack together, it still works. Um, I mean, the peel... I thought the peel option, the first one, is one? do the same. No, 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 up there, yeah, the peel one. I think it do the same as pack custom, but just peel it for you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, honestly, George, I don't know. <laughs> I could look it up. <laughs> I can look uh, it up um, later, and I can answer that question, but I always just use pack custom. I think uh, no it, it, just, it just does that. So... Um, you want to use as much of this UV space as possible um, because all of this is just wasted wasted space. Sorry, you can't see that wrong screen. All of this is just wasted space. So you have all of this space that isn't going to use anything. You want to make sure that you maximize as much as possible your textures. Um, and so we, I, I packed custom this to make sure that everything that I put in here is at its right texel density. Um, but what I want to do now, since I have more space, this is where you start playing Tetris. Um, so those of you that have played Tetris 99, um, you should be good. Um, what, what you should do whenever you get into a situation where you got all of this open space is you want to start making these bigger. And I, what I usually do is I start with the big items first. 
Um, so I select I select them in here like this guy, um, this guy, well it's actually this guy and this guy, and this guy and this guy, um, this guy. Go away. So those are. Oh, it's, it's actually him. So these are the ones that are like the biggest, right? All of this stuff right here is like small, small stuff, stuff that won't be seen that much. Um, I can just pack those. Um, I, I just pack them in here. You can rotate this guy to get him, give him a little bit more space. Um, some of these smaller items you can give a little bit more textile density space. So you can go in here. Well, he's actually a, a decent size. So this guy you can probably scale up a little bit. That looks good. And you just go into all these pieces and try to fill it out as best as you can to make sure that like there is not that much space left. You want to give you want to give your models a little bit of a little bit of room, but you don't want these to overlap. You don't want any of these UVs to overlap each other, so make sure that they don't. But you want to make sure that you give you use as much space as possible. And so um, I mean sometimes whenever I get stuck and I'm like, oh, I don't know where to put something, I put it I find holes and I just put them in I put them in there. Um, so if a model has like a hole in it, I just kind of try to find a place to put it. But you just you just keep working at it, and you'll get you'll get comfortable um, adding your UVs um, intuitively, so that you can get the most out of your texture. So I'm just playing Tetris here. Make sure that none of your UVs are outside of this line. Make sure that they're inside of this. So stay in right here. And you're just going to keep dragging them in. So take this guy. I can probably scale him up a bit. Hey man, I'm working over here. Keep it, keep it down. And that's how you parent a five month. Never mind. He doesn't want to listen. Okay, so I'm just placing these guys in. Um, now I'm in a conundrum because I got this big guy and I got nowhere to put him. So what I can do, I can just cut him, make him smaller. Or I can just scale him down, but... He's just talking over there, isn't he? Yeah, he is. He's telling me so many things. Yeah, he's just talking. Talking, talking my ear off. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Okay, so these are all in here. So you see, there's really not that much space left in here. That's what you want. And so all of these UVs are done. Um, whenever you're complete with your UVs, let's say that these guys don't exist. Just throw them away. This is what your UVs would look like. Um, if I copied all of these models over, for example, let me collapse this. If I copied him over, where did he go? Okay. Okay. So if I... Let me trash... Yeah, let me trash these guys. And let me trash him. Him. I 
think that's right. Yeah, okay. So I'm just gonna, all I did, why I copied him over, is I'm just gonna use him as a reference. So that I don't mess this up. So I'm gonna freeze him. I'm gonna bring this guy over. Using my snap tools. I'm gonna grab him, I'm gonna bring him over. Oh, you know what, we're not done because we didn't do our buzzsaw yet. So we still got we still got a little bit more to unwrap. Nah, all right. Sorry guys. But the, uh, other, the, the other pieces are pretty easy. But the boss saw is pretty easy too. <laughs> yeah. So you copy those over. You can grab all of this stuff. You just bring him over. You want to do by element because it keeps it within the mesh. He's copied over. Copy him over. By element. Perfect. Okay, so if we look, if I put my UV unwrap back on. Look at that. So if I were to select... Uh, so it only use one UV map. Yep. Four, yep. four yes. matches. Oh, that is yeah, cool. you see that? They're all on top of each other. One, two, three, four. Oh, so they stack each other. Yep, they stack on top of each other. So uh, now, it. now you don't have to texture them four different times. You can only texture them one time. <laughs> all right. Dope. Yeah. So pretty cool trick. Um, that's how you save UV space. Okay, um, now this guy, let me move him over, back in here, right about there, okay, so, these guys are what's left that we have to unwrap. So let's do him. He's pretty easy. This guy too, sorry. Okay. So let me convert him to edible poly. I'm going to unwrap him. So I can either use edges. Well, actually, let's use polygon. Um. I'm going to select all of these on the inside here to cut it. And do, do you guys see the importance of having a really clean model? Um, whenever you're doing your unwrapping, it makes a huge, huge difference. Um, yeah. Because whenever your model's clean, your UVs are just so much easier to manage and you don't have you're like cutting things and then you start relaxing you're like why is it not relaxing it's probably because you have a vertice that shouldn't be there you have a face that shouldn't be there you have just all types of stuff and you know take it from me I've been there learning how to do this before multiple and I still make that same mistake so um, just be in the habit of making your models as clean as possible. That's why I say three and four sided edge edges or polygons. Sorry, three or four sided polygons are what you want because it just makes your unwrapping, your baking, your texturing, all of that way, way, way easier. Um, and you have less headaches. You won't be sitting there unwrapping for hours and hours trying to figure out what's wrong. Because honestly, m most of it... Um, most people hate unwrapping and I get it I hated it for a really really long time and now that I understand why unwrapping is so important I actually kind of like it now um, it's kind of like the the stress-free version of like modeling can sometimes be stressful but once you learn how to use your UVs it, it's kind of relaxing um, because you start to understand the importance of it so let's see 
So these can stay on, stacked on top of each other. That's fine. I don't know why this did that. Those can stay stacked. Let's put it. Let's put our texture on it. And see how it looks. Yeah, that looks fine. That's that's perfect. That's what we want. This one's actually flipped around on itself. It's actually backwards. Like you see that it's actually flipped. So I mean you could stack them. I mean that's fine. It's just it's gonna be it's gonna be backwards, but I mean it's up to you. It's up to your discretion if you wanna have if you wanna have two buzz saws, if you wanna keep them on top of each other, that's that's up to you. Um, this guy's being a little jerk, so I'm gonna have to cut him a couple times. Just so that he doesn't stay curved like this. Um you want to kind of, whenever you have something that like this, that can be straight, you want to make them straight. Um, whenever you have things like here, like in this, that's curved, it takes up so much unnecessary space. Versus if it were just straight, it would be, it'd be perfect. So again, George, you would use, let me make this full screen. Uh, let's cut him again. Let's relax him. Let's turn him up. So sometimes you're gonna have to cut something a couple times just so that it can it can be straight, and then you're gonna have to weld it back together. So let me select him, weld him together. That's pretty straight, but we can straighten him out some more. Same method, George, right here. Boom. Select this guy. Ring him right here. Boom. He's done. <laughs> All right. Let's cut him. We have two separate pieces now. Let's relax him. He's straight. Let's relax him. He He's straight. Now he's straight. And now let's weld them together. Sorry about the baby, guys. I no, it's cool. Johanna's got dog in the background. Oh, he has dogs? <laughs> yeah, well, mine's yeah, and his two dogs suck. <laughs> he has two dogs? Yeah, so they keep barking. <laughs> so, yeah, it's fine. When, he, he's fine. He's just making noise. We're not hurting him, I promise. <laughs> it's just babies. Um, let's drag these guys on here. So he's super duper stretched. Um, bring him here. Okay, so these guys need to be unwrapped too. Let's unwrap him. It's open. He's going to be pretty simple. Um, we can do what we did last time with the whole table. Let's bring him to projection, do a Z, and then we're just going to cut him at the bottom here. So we're going to break him, relax, let's bring that to one, so he's, he's good. This guy right here, um, we can cut like this whole face right here, that one, and do the same thing on this one. And then we can cut, we'll cut this one. Right here. Oh wait, he's not even, he doesn't even have the modifier on. There we go. So we're going to select this edge, this edge, and this one. And we're going to cut them. So do you see why I choose certain edges to cut? Are you kind of understanding that a little bit? Yeah. Of like why I'm choosing certain edges. It just, the way that you cut makes things a little bit easier um, to unwrap. Uh, makes your life easier, to be honest. Um, it's okay, you know, starting out, if you just do more cuts than you need. The more that you practice, the more that you're going to recognize, oh, I can just cut it right here. 
or I can just cut it right here and it makes it it makes the world a difference because you're not sitting and cutting for hours and trying to get stuff to, to match properly so um, just keep practicing and the more you practice the more you'll get it um, so and sometimes you'll see I'll just cut things multiple times just so that I can get the mesh to work so look my cylinder is collapsed in the center remember collapse your cylinders in the center do not leave this open do not leave that open All right. always collapse them you throw an unwrap on here here I'm gonna cut it like this so we're gonna cut the top and gonna leave the sides why did the sides cut like that anyway we'll weld this together and we're gonna relax this and then this is just gonna give me yep boom perfect and we only have two more left guys so this looks like it just broke in a whole bunch of pieces we can just easily just weld all these back together weld custom weld custom weld custom that one's done and finally but not least this guy right here unwrap and this guy's super weird let's unwrap him from the Y so like right here we're gonna start from this side profile so we're gonna take this bottom part out we're gonna take this top part out and then we're gonna cut this bottom part right here I'm going to cut those and I'm going to relax them and we're going to weld these guys back on weld and weld and that one's done okay so we want to make sure that all of our UVs are in the same UV space. Some of you um, have your UVs all over the place and multiple UV spaces. Um, you want all of these in one UV space. And so how do you do that, you ask? Well, you select everything. Select this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, right? You want to do a group. All a group is, is it just takes all your models and it puts them in a group. They're not one mesh, they're a group. If you ever wanna go back, let's say that I wanna manipulate him a little bit, let's say I don't like his shape, I can just go to group, go to open, and then look, I have him again. So groups are really beneficial. When I, I can close my group and then all of it moves together. Oh man, I miss this guy. How did I miss him? How did I do that? Let's ungroup him. Let's unwrap him real quick too, since I wasn't paying attention. Let's unwrap. Let's do projection to the w X. And we'll do right here. Right here's fine. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick to what I said guys. Hide your seams. Bring it here. Tools, relax. And for some reason this made a diamond. It's not a diamond. There you go. See, I use relax by edges and it did it perfectly this time. I don't know why. Sometimes it does it, sometimes it doesn't. All right. Okay, so all of these are unwrapped now. I'm gonna select everything right here I'm gonna group it hit OK then I'm gonna put 
What's really cool about groups is that you can put modifiers on top of your group. So I can put another unwrap modifier on here. And what's going to happen if I open, it's going to have two, two UV unwraps, right? One for my model and one for my group. Um, but that's okay. Because all we're going to do is that we're going to put every single thing in the UV space together. So you see all of these guys right here? All of them need to be in there. They're just floating out in space. They all need to be in here. So let's see if my pack custom will get us a good result. And that's actually pretty good. Not a lot of space wasted. I mean, you can still go in here. You can grab this guy. You can scale him up a little bit. Like that. Um, you can get some of these pieces and scale them up. But I think that's actually pretty good. I missed a weld right here. So that's actually pretty good. This would be pretty decent. Um, I think though, if you want, you can probably scale down. What is that? Yeah. You can probably scale some of these things down. Oh, you know what happened? My bad guys. I lied. This is a bad idea. Because you see, all of, all of these went back. We don't want that. So don't pack custom. Let's delete that. Let's put another unwrap again. Okay, so these are here. Let's take all of these guys. We're going to have to put them in there manually, which is okay. Because most of our unwrapping is already done, so we just got to fit them in. Um, so I don't need that window anymore. Let's see. We're going to start fitting things in where we can. So we're going to have to start scaling things down. And since this isn't really a major, major piece, that's fine if it's it's pretty small. We'll put him here. We can probably... Put him here. Let's move this guy down. Like that. These pieces right here are probably one of the most important since it's like the biggest in our scene. Um, what is this guy? So that's the bottom. Uh, I'm trying to think here. What is he? Okay, so we can make this guy a little smaller. And we're going to scale him down a little bit. And we want him to probably be about that size. So we can scale this guy down some. You see how it's kind of like Tetris? You're trying to get this stuff in there. Just make sure, make sure, make sure that your UVs are not overlapping each other. So if I probably turn him Yep, that'll work. Perfect. Oh man, look at this. I didn't grab this dude. It's okay though. It's okay. I got I got a plan, George. Alright, so remember you're asking me about or maybe you did or didn't. I was talking about the snap tool. I don't know. I don't think it is me. <laughs> okay, well I probably was talking about the snap tool. So this is a good point to use a snap tool. So I selected my vertices and I selected all of my vertices select by element. I want him to be at the center of this guy and then I'm going to scale him. I'm going to turn my snap off and then I'm going to scale him down. I'm going to try my best to get this uh... 
I missed. Let me turn my snap back on. There we go. So he's pretty darn close. Okay, well let's say that they're they're perfect. <laughs> okay. Um but remember we gotta get the rest of these guys in there. So all it is after this guys is just the the fitting game. You just try to get all those in as best you can. Let's see, scale this down. Put him here. Hey, I'm hey. here. Hey, how's it going? No, it's okay. Uh, my mom was really had me hold it. Yeah, no, you're good. We're <sighs> we're pretty much done though, but I have all of this recorded. Okay. So you can you can catch up on it um, later. I know Vincent said he wasn't. He was just watching the whole time. He wasn't doing anything. Um, yeah. He, I wouldn't say he's not doing anything. He's not like. <laughs> actively <laughs> UVing anything um, oh. and so he's just using this as opportunity to just watch me okay so <laughs> he said eyes yeah so uh, so I'm just I'm just finishing up okay um, on here if you look at the chat solo I didn't see anything. well did you click on the stream yeah it didn't show anything can any of you guys all you other guys can you see still yeah, yeah. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Well, it's okay, so I'm I'm literally finishing up. Um but I have a if you look in the chat, there is a file in the chat. I would grab that file because that's what I'm using to unwrap. Um okay. You can literally watch this video um, and and do exactly what I'm doing. Um, just follow along. You can play okay. and pause it. So that okay. should help you. Is it on YouTube? No, it's not on YouTube. I haven't posted it on YouTube. Oh, okay. Is the video there? Because I don't see anything. No, because I'm actively I'm actively recording it right now. Oh, okay. So you're you're gonna be on YouTube. You're gonna be YouTube famous. Great! I don't see anything. <laughs> but if if my voice is there, great. I won't even charge you for it. <laughs> it's free. Okay. Yeah, Vincent, you wanna? We can take the opportunity to to texture this if you like. How do you guys feel about that? Interesting. I don't know because I don't even know what it is. It's uh, did you ever watch my buzzsaw video that I made? Yeah, I seen that. What's okay, that? so I'm that's what I'm unwrapping right now. Oh, okay, you're unwrapping your buzzsaw. Yeah. Oh, the difficulty with that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. I seen that video and I was trying to figure out how. It was kind of confusing because the way you were making it, it was kind of weird. <laughs> yeah. Well, in this video, we're we're unwrapping it, so it should be able to to kind of help you out. Um, okay. I kind of showed you a few techniques that'll really really help you up your game on your UVs. Um, yeah. And that that should that should help you out a ton. I kind of go over all the tools that we use. Um, I only really use probably four tools, right, George? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's I only used a couple. I didn't really do a lot of different things. Um, nothing too complicated. Like your screen is like dark or something when I enter. That is strange. Like I can't see nothing in there, but I'm pretty sure everyone else can see what you're seeing. Yeah, probably. I don't know. That's weird. Because when I enter, when I hover over. I notice you do have UVs there. Yeah. But when I am on the screen, there's no UVs that I can see at all. Really? No. Okay. All right, guys. You see that? Everything is unwrapped. Yeah. I don't see anything. So, 
that is pretty much it. Um, and so that's how your UVs. Well, look, I lied. Look at that. That's overlapping. That. <laughs> um, that's how your UVs should look with all of your models. It should look just like that. Okay. He said, okay. Try, try restarting your Discord. Okay. I'm going to um, uh, hang up. Okay. All right. So that's how you unwrap, guys. That's pretty much it. Um, nothing, nothing too difficult. It's pretty simple. It's really just about understanding um, how to unwrap things and understanding. Um, I restarted. Let me see if I can see. Okay. Um, no, it's still black. Okay. Well, don't worry about it. We're just about done. I'll, I'll upload the video tonight so you can see it. Uh, so it's about done? Yeah. This is, that's really it. I mean, there's nothing, nothing really else. Um, beyond that because everything in here is 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 done um so if if you like vincent had requested that we could do uh, we can texture this um yeah if i don't know in this group who has substance we could texture in substance or i can show you how to do it in photoshop um what would you like nah, i'm gonna leave my desk for now otherwise i'm gonna shit myself <laughs> uh, excuse me guys <laughs> in Photoshop and also done in subject, uh, Sustance as well. Okay. Well, I can, I'll do Photoshop since most of you guys have Photoshop or GIMP. Um, yes. GIMP is, GIMP is pretty much the same Vincent, um, same tools. So I can, I can show you, I can show you how to do that in Photoshop. Um, we can do that on Monday. How's that sound? Yeah. Sound good? Yeah, Sounds cool. good. Wait, oh no, it died. <laughs> okay. Your All right. Stream. Well, well, I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut the stream. Um, if you guys have any other questions, um, just private message me. Um, I'll ha I'll try to have this up tonight. Solo, make sure that you download that Buzzsaw Table Max file and this. Is it in the chat? Yeah, it's in the chat. So download that in the chat. Download the texture file also in the chat. Okay. Okay. We'll do. All right, guys. Well, I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions um, in the private message box, all right? Will do. All right, cool. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Uh, let me stop.